Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, Economist. Today we are looking at cross elasticity of demand. Okay, we are done with price elasticity, we are done with income elasticity and their measurements. Today we are looking at, of course, the cross elasticity of demand. Do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jam CBT Practice app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. If you want to pass your jam exam at once, you need the application activated on your phone and you have started using it immediately. Okay, do not waste time. Time is what you do not have the luxury of, okay? You must prepare if you need success, okay? Start immediately. Now, let us see uh, a jump pass question from the jump, uh, from the jump app. And in 1991, question number 11, it says that the cross elasticity of demand between complementary goods is, okay, A says unit 3, B says positive, C says 0, D says negative, okay? So we'll come back to this question to answer it at the end of the class and not before because at all today's schools, we believe in giving you value first. Let us teach you. Once we teach you and you know, answering question will be the least of your problem in this life because you have known it, okay? So please download the application. It has all the past questions that you need for your exam for all subjects. Okay, as lecture notes, that's a classroom with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. Question search feature, just like the way we search for this question right now. I just went to the to the app, went to economics, uh, we went for question search feature, selected economics, type cross elasticity, and questions on that cross elasticity came out whole lot for me. Okay, so it's as wonderful what benefit because after studying a particular topic, you can answer questions from them. Then more is that, of course, there's a UTME mock challenge on the application every Saturday by 10 a.m. for all students that are writing jam for this particular year. Okay, in that mock exam, at the comfort of your home, all right, you compete with every student writing jam, okay, to win amazing prizes every Saturday. Get you to jump past questions, get you to likely exam questions, see your score release every Saturday, thereby building your confidence towards the main exam. So please do not sleep on the application, download it now and start practicing. Activation fee is not up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. Do you prefer your future? Okay, to be stored because of small change. Okay, so please do not do not play with the application. Download it immediately and activate it and start what your what your preparation. All right, so now let us see cross elasticity of demand. Now we say that cross elasticity of demand. Okay, it measures the degree or the magnitude of the responsiveness of change in quantity demanded of one good X towards a change in price of another good. Why? That means the, a particular good, X changes price. What happens to Y? A particular good, Y changes price. What happens to X? A particular good, A changes price. What happens to B? Okay? So, and of course, for cross elasticity of demand, okay, examples of these goods, of this uh, uh, cross of uh, goods that what uh, uh, demand, okay, that what uh, experiences this cross elasticity of demand, say that what, uh, complementary, complementary, or what goods that have what close substitutes. Okay, so he said that what goods that have what that are complementary or goods that have what close substitutes. These are examples of what or goods that what have what uh, that show cross elasticity of what of demand. All right, that the demand for one, okay, we what uh, so the change in price of one, we what we affect the demand of the other one. It's either what it will increase or what it will what it will decrease. Okay, so that's cross elasticity of demand. So it measures the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded of one good X towards a change in price of another good Y. Okay, you have two goods, A and B. All right, A changes price. What happens to B? That's what we're talking about in cross elasticity of demand. And we say that what? They are either what substitutes, okay, or they are what? They are complements. They are either substitutes or they are complements. Those are the only two, what, two options. Now, let's look at the types of cross elasticity of demand that we have. So number one, also we have positive cross elasticity. I will say a commodity is said to have positive cross elasticity when an increase in the price of one of the commodity A. Okay, let us say the commodity is what is A. When an increase in the price of, the, of, a, of one of the commodity A leads to a corresponding increase in the quantity demanded of the related commodity what B now. Let's say we have two commodities A and B. Okay, an increase in the price of A. Okay, leads to what? An increase, a corresponding increase in the quantity demanded of B. All right, A and B. Okay, A increase price. B, quantity demanded increase for B. 
Okay, and of course, how do you uh, uh, can you relate this to what to to, uh, to normal uh, normal daily living? Yes, there are cl uh, goods that have close substitutes. Okay, it's an example of what goods that have positive uh, cross elasticity or that show positive cross elasticity. Goods that have close or substitutes. For example, uh, Milo and uh, and uh, Bonvita. Okay, your Milo and your Bonvita. Milo go and increase price. Okay, the increased price. What will happen to Bonvita? Bonvita demand what will increase. People will start buying what from Bonvita because they cannot go and kill themselves. All right. So increase in price of one of the commodity will lead to what a corresponding increase in the quantity demanded of the other what commodity. Okay. So that is what now negative. Uh, that's what that is positive cross elasticity. Okay. When the Increase in price of one of the commodity leads to a corresponding increase. Increase, increase. So we're talking about increase and increase. Then we're talking about what positive cross elasticity. Okay, and we'll say example are uh, what obviously uh, goods that have what close substitutes. For example, uh, let's say Omo and Viva Plus. Okay, Omo, the price of your Omo, your detergent increased. What happened to Viva Plus? People start buying Viva Plus. Not to wash clothes. Okay, people, oh man, people will rush Viva Plus. Waiting no good. So that is what uh, uh, goes that show what positive cross cross what elasticity. Now, let us look at the second one, which is the negative what. Uh, okay, first of all, the coefficient of elasticity for what for goods. Okay, that show what positive cross elasticity, all right, is always greater than zero, all right, please take note of that, all right, let me, let me put this out clearly, all right, the uh, coefficient of elasticity for goods that show positive cross elasticity is what, always greater, okay, E, X, Y is greater than what, zero, we represent Cross elasticity with what with E X Y okay is always greater than zero for positive what cross elasticity. Now let us look at the negative one. For negative cross elasticity, we say a commodity is said to have negative cross elasticity when an increase in the price of one commodity. Now let's say X leads to decrease now in the quantity demanded of what of another commodity. Let's say Y okay and vice versa. Okay, so for negative cross elasticity increase. Increase in what? In X, okay? Will lead to what? Decrease in Y, okay? Increase in X will lead to what? Decrease in what? In Y. For what? For what is it called? For negative cross elasticity. Once you increase the price of S, okay? The what? Quantity demanded of what? Of Y, what? We drop, we fall, okay? And vice versa, all right? So also if you increase the price of Y, okay? The uh, uh, the 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 demand for what for S will also was also fall. Okay, the demand for S was will fall. Okay, so as you're increasing S, Y will fall. As you're increasing Y, X will fall. Okay, example is what is car and fuel. Okay, especially especially what complementary goods. Okay, goods that what that are complementary. Goods that are complementary is an example of what goods that show negative cross elasticity. Okay, for example, your car. And your fear, all right. So now, now fear is increasing. How many cars are you seeing on the road? Okay, many people want to park their car in the what in the house. Some of them will sell itself. Okay, to go and eat, make a fetch of fear, make a novel die. Okay, so as I'm sure that's what's ever happening right now in the country because the price of fear is so expensive. Okay, people, the, the, the people who uh, um, prefer to enter public transport, okay, than to go and what use their own personal car because the price of fuel is too, too expensive, okay? So, for that singular reason, as the price of uh, fuel is increasing, the demand for what? For car will be, de will be decreasing, okay? It's as simple as ABC, okay? And if also the price of car is increasing, okay, the demand for fuel will be decreasing because how many people will buy, be able to afford car, okay? Now, if price of fuel is what is uh, increasing, Car, less other people will be driving what car. So the increase in one leads to decrease in the other. So they are complementary goods, actually complementary goods. Okay, it's always what is and it's a perfect example for goods that show negative cross elasticity. All right, now please take note of this. Take note of that a major determinant, a major determinant of cross elasticity is closeness of substitute. Closeness. Closeness of substitutes. Substitutes. Okay, substitutes. Okay, now, 
take note of all of this, that a major determinant, a major thing that determines what cross elasticity is what is the closeness of what, how close are what are those or substitute. Okay, that is a major driving determinant for what for cross elasticity of what of demand. So this way we are going to stop. Let us go to the O3 school jam CBT practice app, take questions, and we are off. Then the next episode will look at measurement of cross elasticity of demand. This is a 1991 question number 11. It says the cross elasticity of demand between complementary goods, okay? Complementary goods, like I said before, they are what? They are examples of what? Goods that show negative cross elasticity. So they are the coefficient, also the coefficient of what? Of elasticity for goods that show negative cross elasticity, E, X, Y is less than zero. I told you, right? Y for positive, E, X, Y, E, X, Y is greater than zero. Please take note of what of that. Now, they say that what that, the cross elasticity of demand between complementary goods is negative. The answer is what is negative, okay? Like I said, for example, yes, what for negative cross elasticity is complementary goods, negative. Now, let us check another question, 2007, number nine. It says, the major determinant of cross elasticity of demand is the A, price of the good, no. B, say the degree of the necessity of the good, no. C, say the level of income of consumers, no. D, say the closeness of substitute. The closeness of substitute is the major determinant, okay, of cross elasticity of demand, okay. Thank you for joining us. My name, is, my name remains Master T. I am the Grand Commander of the Otis School Army, and you are a soldier in this army. You must succeed because you are part of this family. I will see you in the next class. We'll talk about the measurement of cross elasticity of demand. See you there.